Hello and welcome to another video and the annual rewards program for 2021 for MechWarrior Online is here. So what are the rewards? What mechs do we get? What do we have to do to get them? Are they even worth getting? And what are my thoughts on them? We're going to go through all of that in this video. So standard little post here. Uh, Bombadil, uh, Darren Katz, is talking about he's back in Piranha Games for a year. They've been working with the Cauldron. They've introduced the booster packs. They've rebalanced stuff. They've improved weapons and equipment and quirks and such. And they're going to update even further into 2022. Um, we have the holiday events coming for Trick or Treat and Christmas and all that kind of stuff. But we need to talk about the different rewards. You can see your eligibility status to play it on this page. The loadouts for them are going to be here coming soon. If I refresh, they're not there. So we're going to speculate based on um, Sarna because they're not here yet. And we must be current. We must get this video out the day it is announced. And uh, yeah, we're going to go through the different uh, levels here. So, reward details. To be eligible for the 2021 rewards, purchases must be made between the following dates. we starting in November of 2022 and ending in November of 2021. So, November 24th, 2020 to so November 23rd, 2021. And then it rolls over and then it's the next year's eligibility. So, it's only if you purchased within those dates and if you purchase stuff before that, they won't count. Active player reward. You play a uh, hundred matches. That's just a time commitment. If you uh, if you're actively playing, a few matches every few days, kind of thing, you should have this. You get an eight year cupcake cockpit item, five million sea bells, which is a nice little chunk of change. A single mech bay, and hundred GSP, which is enough to essentially level out one mech. The MC reward. Purchase MC. On MWO or through Steam, you get 100 GSP, which is enough to level out that one mech. And you also get an urban mech, UM-R80 loyalty. So this will be loyalty variant plus 30% CVL bonus. But an R80, we haven't seen that before. So let's pop over to Sarna and take a look at the UM-R80. This variant carries a snub nose PPC, small pulse laser, tag, Beagle Active Probe, and Guardium ECM Suite. Oh, baby, we got a sneaky Irby. It retains the small laser of the standard urban mecha as well. Improved jump jets help the urban mech move around the city and defend it more effectively. So, improved jump jets is nothing we have yet. So it's probably just going to be normal jump jets. Maybe they'll try to say, well, it's got improved jump jets because it has a quirk towards jump jets. I could see them doing that. But the base that all we need to care about at the moment is the fact that we've got one, two, three, and four energy hard points guaranteed for it, the, this um, loadout to fit. So four energy hard points, bare minimum. They may add more or not, but four energy hard points is decent enough. Four medium pulse and something can do some good work. As well as... ECM on an Irby. So Stealth Irby with Energy Hard Points is our first one, and that is for purchasing any quantity of MC. It doesn't have to be the $100 pack. It can just be the little $6 or $7 pack or whatever the hell it is. Buy the little pack, get an awesome Irby, essentially. The Prime Reward. Have purchased any new player pack, bundle, dropship deal, Complete Collection, Turnipit Supporter Pack, a la carte, Mech Pack of any level, or Mech Pack Reinforcement through MWO or Steam. Excludes the booster packs of, like, the quarterly booster packs of the Striker, Warden, Hunter, and Predator. So, I think the best deal for this was the, the tournament, tournament Supporter Pack. If you have purchased that, and that was cheap comparatively to a lot of the packs, um... I don't know if that's still on, uh, but I got my tournament supporter pack, so I've qualified for that. But yeah, overall, you just buy any pack. 
it's like 20 bucks for this level kind of feel because you just get any any pack because you got those new player ones so you can just pick one of those up sort of feel you get a viper vpr-f loyalty and 100 gsp to level it out so let's take a look at the viper the tash f a close combat configuration the viper f is armed with eight machine guns which are linked to a pair of machine gun arrays uh, i'm not sure exactly how the machine gun arrays translate to mech warrior online if they're just another ballistic hard point but this is like eight to ten ballistic hard points what that's a lot of gun so that's a lot of machine guns and uh, making it ex extremely deadly against infantry and other soft targets uh, for more armored foes, it carries three ER medium lasers, so minimum three hard energy hard points, eight ballistic hard points kind of feel. Uh, this mix makes the F configuration suitable for combating infantry and integrated light vehicle support elements. This configuration was developed by the Clan Hell Horses. So cool. We've got a uh, few lasers and a lot of MGs. I mean... It's a Viper. You're not going to be putting anything larger than an MG in there unless you're running like a couple Ultra 2s, in which case there's way better mechs to do that on. So I just see this as a really fast, really annoying jump jet in behind somebody and do the like, like, oh my, one more shinderu sort of thing. Like, you're already dead. I got eight heavy machine guns and I'm going to stick them up your butt with a pair like triple medium pulse lasers or something like that. And then you're just going to delete a mech. If you can get in there and line it up properly and their buddies don't shoot you before you do. But this thing is just going to be a pure knife fighter. Just mm, mwah, delicious. And that's going to be the prime reward. So any mech pack... Uh, if it's still available, the Tournament Supporter Pack was a good option, or just, like, one of the new player packs. Moving on. Deluxe Reward. You've purchased any 2021 Booster Pack. So if you've got the Striker, the Warden, the Hunter, or the new Predator that just came out, you've got this. You get an Atlas AS-K3 Loyalty. 100 GSP to level it out. And we'll take a look at that Atlas. We got the K3, a modification of the K2 built in 3083. Moving along with the, uh, the timeline there a bit, eh? Getting to 3083. The K3 removed the two streaks SRM launchers and replaced them with three jump jets and a streak four launcher. Ooh. Giving the Atlas K3 incredible maneuverability. We have a jumping Atlas. Now, this only gives you three jump jets. I wouldn't be surprised if they made that a tiny bit higher because like, they don't really need to, though. You're not going to be jumping any buildings with three jump jets on a 100-tonner. That's for sure. There's just not enough oomph. But this is an atlas that can get up some more steep slopes. It can jump off of stuff and not take any leg damage. It's just a little bit more maneuverable, especially when you're like uh, an Atlas would be walking along and it's just like, oh, my God, this thing is like ankle height, but I can't get out because it's just that tiny bit too high. Well, now the Atlas can just go, OK, woo, jump over that. So then we got a nice it sounds like a standard uh, build for it. It's based off the K2. Uh, which has Gauss Rifle ER Large Lasers and um, two Streak 6 launchers, so it's losing a Streak 6 for a Streak 4. Uh, wait, wait, a modification of the K2. The K2 has ECM, so this is jumping an ECM. Oh, cool. A jumping ECM Atlas. That's nice. Uh, I'm not an Atlas player too big for me mm -hmm. i'm a medium and heavy player but yeah purchased any booster pack of the four that are available then the ultimate reward is if you get all oh sorry not all the rewards qualify the prime and the deluxe so if you purchase the packs essentially 
you get a booster cockpit items times three. This is probably those little 5% additional uh, sea bills cockpit items. A couple decals, 200 GSP, so enough GSP for two max. And that's it. Uh, we've, uh, I, I, it's too bad the loadouts aren't here, but essentially, Sneaky Irby, Knife Fight Viper, and uh, what looks like a Sneaky Jumpy Atlas. I mean, they're pretty good max, actually. And not act, actually not really that high of a bar to pass. Like, in the past, some of these uh, reward structures were set up so that you have to purchase exactly this and exactly that. And if you purchase like copies of this or did all this or spent all these places, you wouldn't count. And I always made videos and made spreadsheets of like, you could spend so many thousand dollars on the game and you wouldn't get their loyalty reward because you weren't getting like exactly the thing that they were saying. But now this is just like, yeah, purchase anything, any mech pack at all get your award purchase these four specific packs because they're trying to push their booster packs i get that but this is so much more flexible compared to the past so i really like these new rewards i like it they're interesting looking mechs i've already qualified for all the mechs so i'm gonna be getting them and when they come out i'll make videos about them but yeah cool uh you've got um this this time uh, November 23rd from the posting of this video is like 40 days. So you have like essentially like a month and a week kind of feel to get any of these if you need to. So enough time to scrape together a few bucks if you want to put the put that into the game or to spend the time to play your hunter matches. Just play a couple matches a day kind of feel and you should be able to get them done. That's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Good hunting out there, fellow mech warriors.